We're back with more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. As promised, we're going back to the Temple of Time. But before we do, we're actually going to go back to the vicinity of Ganon's castle and pick up a gold spider that we could not do before. Namely, because now we've got the hook shot. That's right, Epona. Run like the wind. You're the greatest horse in all existence. Now prove that word and don't let anybody knock you off your high horse. <laughs> Lock a horse off a high horse? How the fuck would that work? Whoa, doggy! Good horsey. Shut up, Nabby. I know where I gotta go next, but I wanna do things my way. So put a cork in it, or I'll crush you with my fist. Remember that picture I put up? <coughs> yeah. I figured I'd do it again, just to remind you. Alright, so... Yeah, we've got the temple over there. But we're not going there, we're going over here. So, just around the corner, there's the broken piece of that gate over there. The spider is on the other side. Granted, if we had access to the boomerang as an adult, we would have already got it. But we don't. So, there's not much else to discuss upon the matter. All I can say is, smile, bitch! Yoink! I wonder, how many do we have now? 39. Very nice. Maybe we'll hit the big 40 by the time we're done. SHUT UP, NAVI! <sighs> I swear, that little fairy is going to make me puke my guts out. Yeah, I find her that disgusting. And equally as annoying. Actually, you know what? I want to have some fun with the Redeads. Enjoy being statues, boys. Did I get them all? Beautiful. <laughs> Alright. Now, for the task at hand. Time travel. And yes. Once I'm finished fooling around, Death Mountain is our next stop. Now, if I'm not mistaken, once we go back in and attempt to put the sword back into the pedestal, Sheik will be waiting for us, and we'll learn a new song. Yep. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. You got that right. And you know what? I actually owe you for that one, because if you didn't tell me about the hookshot, I would not have gotten in. But there are still other sages who need your help. Well, duh! In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. Seems like quite the ordeal. But okay, if you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. Alright. Let's hear it. Nice melody. And easy enough to play. Alright. There we go. So basically, if we ever need to come back here as an adult, we can bypass all those freaking redeads. Although we will have to contend with them on the way out. Unless, of course, I decide to freeze them all with a sun song, like you just saw me do. And that's another teleportation song in the books. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Jeremy, we shall meet again. Wow! A really bright blast this time. Anyway, time to go home.
we age seven years, and we take seven years off our life. Welcome home, little boy. It's been a slice. And just like that, we have access to a boomerang and slingshot again. So either way, now we have ranged weapons all around. Alright, so the first place we're going to go is back to Zor's River. There's something I forgot to show off. A little game where you play songs for frogs. It's a good way to really earn some quick cash. And at the same time, there's also the Bean Man, who sits right by the gate. I'm not sure if you saw him, but he's the guy who has a big sack of beans who chomps on them. Apparently, he sells magic beans. Namely, you plant them in soft soil. I'll buy them, but I'm not going to plant them just yet. Whoops. Almost forgot. When it's night, you can't leave town. Silly me. <sighs> I can't believe that actually happened. I should have known better. Maybe I haven't had enough to drink. Speaking of which... Excuse me a sec. <sighs> Nothing like whiskey on the rocks. The only reason I'm drinking whiskey straight is because I've been sick lately. Ugh. I almost lost my voice. Luckily, it didn't affect any of my time in broadcasting class. And at the same time, it hasn't really affected my marks. Still pulling in straight A's. Go me. Alright. Shut up, Nabby! <sighs> I swear, do you really want me to put my fist in your face? I'll do it! And I'm sure there are a lot of my viewers who would like to do that as well. In fact, I'd pay them to let them punch you. Alright, so here we are. And there's my chicken. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Don't want that. There we go. It's almost night time. Now, if I remember correctly, the frog minigame is actually one of two. First, you need to play a bunch of songs for the frogs. One of the songs will actually get you a heart, and the rest will get you 50 rupees apiece. I don't remember exactly which songs do what, or if there's a specific order, so... I'm just gonna play whichever ones I remember at the time. Thank you! Shut the fuck up, Navi. Easy. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Alright. To bring them out, pull out your ocarina. First, let's play Zelda's Lullaby. And what's going to happen? He grows. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Mmm, that melody is so fine. Ribbit. We should all practice it. Ribbit. Take rubies as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it. Ribbit. Ribbit. How nice. 50 rubies. So we're going to do that a few more times with a few different songs. Next, sorry a song. Now which one's going to grow? The yellow guy. See? What did I tell you? Fast cash. Next up, Epona song. Alright, who's gonna grow now? The gray frog. Alright, so that's 150 we've earned. Sun Song. Big Blue. And that will push our earnings to an even 200. But we're not stopping yet. One final song to play to make the red guy grow. At least I think this is the song to make him grow. Although we do have one more song to play, so if this doesn't do anything... 
it did do something. So just like that, we've earned an easy 250 rupees. Of course, if we didn't have the wallet upgrades, this would prove useless. And since we have one more song, let's play it anyway. Wow! That melody is so cool! Ribbit. Singing in the rain, oh what a feeling, Ribbit. Please take this as a token of our froggish gratitude, Ribbit. Alright, see you, Ribbit. There we go. That's what we came for, a piece of heart. Alright. Now there is the second part of the game, but at the same time, I'm not going to play it for two reasons. One, I don't want to waste time. Two, I'm no good at it. Basically, you need to figure out which frog corresponds to each ocarina button on your control pad. If you do that, you can play, and play fairly effectively. Oh, crap, I missed the stop. So, looks like I'm going to be swimming down the stream a bit, and i got to get out here. What the hell was that? Anyway, we're not quite done yet. We're going to go see the Bean Man and make a few purchases. It starts off at 10 beans a pop, and then he increases it by 10 each time. At 422 rupees, I should have more than enough money. And if not, no big deal. Alright, 10 rupees for one. Thank you. I'm not going to plant them yet because... I honestly don't feel like it. But at least this way I'll have a good supply of beans for when I'm good and ready. This might seem kind of foolish, but at the same time, I can easily bank back my rubies. Through one means or another. Yes, 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 give me the beans. So that's three. Navi, for the love of fuck, shut your goddamn pie hole! All the rage you say, huh? Shut it! The popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. What are you talking about? I'm your best customer. Nay, your only customer. Alright. These are the super popular magic beans. In case you're wondering, they'll soon be sold out. Super price 60 rupees for one piece. This is gouging the likes of which the world has never seen. Actually, now that, I've, now that I've done some quick math, I am not going to have enough to buy all the beans. Could be my last chance. Seven rupees for one piece. Yes. The legendary magic beans. Sell them only to me. Well, what the fuck have you been doing all this time, dipshit? That's all I can afford. The next one would sell for 90 rupees, and I'm about 28 rupees shy. But like I said, I can make my money back rather easily. Alright, next place we're gonna go, Kakariko. Reason being, we have a song to play, and we have a dungeon to open up. That's right, we're going to find ourselves a hidden item. Well, it's not really a hidden item, but it's essential for a few key things in the game. For example, you may recall earlier on in the LP, I played that treasure box game in Castle Town. Well, I tried playing it straight, but I figured I might as well get the item and cheat my way through it. So, as my last order of business for the video, I'm going to... Shut up, Navi! <sighs> I swear to fuck. Navi really needs to know her place. I don't care what anybody says. I have no regrets abusing fairies. Anyway. We're gonna go into the windmill. And remember what that music box guy said about the song being played seven years ago? Well, the time has come. But first... I do remember getting the spider in the soft soil patch out in the graveyard, so... I'm gonna take one of my magic beans, and I'm gonna plant it there. Navi! What is your problem? Okay. 
So, we'll take the magic bean. There we go. Put it on. And we'll plant one right here. Basically, when we come back as an adult, it will grow into a full-blown plant, and it will act as an elevator of sorts. In fact, believe it or not, a lot of these soft soil patches will actually lead us to heart pieces. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, we're gonna wreck the windmill. He's not gonna know what hit him. We're this cute kid, seemingly innocent, and now, we're gonna mess him up. Play the Song of Storms. Have a storm start right in the center of the windmill's gears. And the music gets faster too. Higher in pitch as well. Whoa, look at it go! As a result of the super speed of the windmill, the well dries up. What say you, mister? Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast! Sorry, sir. Nothing personal, but like we say, it's just business. Alright. So, now that we've got that done, let's hop on down. Well, actually, you know what? I'll play it safe and climb down. I don't need to take any unnecessary damage. At the same time, I'm probably going to regret this decision, but we're going to go inside the bottom of the well. And in the next episode, we're actually going to explore this place. Until then, I'm Jeremy, and you've been watching Channel 84 Winnipeg. See you later, guys.